Hi, this is Steve Lombardi, and this is your Legal Minute. Today we're here to talk about ATV cases and, and 32 things that you can do to preserve your Iowa ATV accident case. Before we uh, begin talking about a few of those things, I'll let you know I'm not going to talk about all 32 of them today. They're listed below this video. We also have a video tape that has to do with field tools for a personal injury accident and you should watch that videotape as well. Just do a search on our site and you'll be able to find it. But let's talk about your ATV accident case because many of these cases involve children and the parents are understandably upset after the accident. Some of them happen at a neighbor or a farmhouse of, an, of a neighbor and uh, the parents are not there and the parents don't know what to do or their parents are so upset about the death of their child or the brain injury or the spinal cord injury of their child that they fail to do anything including not go get an attorney not hire an attorney to work the case now I understand why this can occur because these are your friends normally in a rural area but the friends need to know this and the farmers need to know this someone has to take care of that child for the rest of their life and it's up to you to act in a responsible way which means not discouraging the investigation of the claim but allowing the grieving parents to investigate the claim or an attorney for them to investigate the claim you're not going to lose your farm everybody's got insurance we all know it so let's knock that one off right before we even get there and don't tell me about lawyers personal injury lawyers being ambulance chasers because that's just the mantra of the insurance industry in order to stop the plaintiffs from investigating and gathering and preserving the evidence so they can later prove their case and the insurance industry can make out like bandits while paying themselves huge um, bonuses and having the float to invest so let's talk about the things we want to talk about today involving the, the ATV accident case I want you to save the clothes I'm going to talk to the parents first or to the spouse or to the friends. Save the clothes that the person was wearing at the time of the accident. Don't wash them, don't destroy them, don't throw them out, don't burn them. I don't care how mad you are about the accident. Put them in a bag and save them. Somebody sooner or later is going to have to look at them. If there was a helmet that the person was wearing at the time of the accident, don't wash it, don't uh, scrub off or rub off the scrape marks, the gouges. Don't throw it away. You need to preserve it in the state it is. Get a box, put it in the box with the clothes, and save it because somewhere along the line, the personal injury lawyer is going to have to look at it. Now let's talk about the ATV itself. We need the ATV. Okay? Sooner or later, somebody's going to need to look at that ATV and see how it operates. You're going to need to see the make and the model of it. You can get a copy of the user manual and all the other information that was given to the farmer when the ATV was purchased get it make a copy of it save it you'll notice one of the things we tell you that you need is a manila folder well this should go into the manila folder along with everything else uh, and let's talk about if you've taken photographs of the scene the ATV the helmet the person in the hospital you need to preserve all that burn it to a CD put it on your hard drive of your computer and remember hard drives fail so burn it onto a CD and put that into the folder as well if you've got them on your cell phone it's not unusual for people to come in and say well I took photographs on my cell phone but I don't even think I still have them well, you know what if you took them save them you shot the image save the image preserve it that's gathering and preserving that's why it's two parts gathering and preserving Then let's talk about talking to the insurance companies. You know, I know you're, you're worried about the bills and the coinsurance and the deductibles and how you're going to make ends meet. And that's where a lawyer can come in to help you think through these things in a clear way. When you talk to the insurance adjusters or you allow, allow your child to talk to the insurance adjusters, you have to remember they're not your friend. They may be friendly, but they're not your friend. And they're gathering that information and preserving it in order to do one of two things and only one of two things. One, find a way to deny the claim. Or two, 
find a way to pay them less than the law requires. So all I can tell you is this. You need to think, you need to realize that, that you, somehow, even if you're a passenger on the ATV, you're going to be blamed. Get your brain wrapped around it and understand you've got to get out, gather, and preserve the evidence in order to preserve your claim. This is Steve Lombardi, and this is your Legal Minute.